Take it. If you're too much of a coward to fight, then end the suffering. Broken. Is she gonna do? <gasps> oh, is she gonna close the wound? That's gonna hurt. So that happened. Why go on when you give everything and face that which torments you, only to find that it is worse than you could have imagined? Mm. Why go on? Is it really so weak to ask this? Or are we just so afraid of the honest answer that we do not dare pose the question? Sometimes the answer lies in a memory, a feeling, a song. Let's do this. The light. Go towards the light. It's him. There he is. Oh. It can't be him. It's just a trick. It's in your mind. He no, he's here. It's in your it's mind. Him. It's real. It's happening. Go towards it. Wait. She got another wound? <laughs> I can't see it. Oh boy. So, we got no weapon, and we got a big wound. Uh, well, in gaming logic, we shouldn't get attacked right now without weapons, right? Wait. There it is. You're imagining things. It's Dillian. He's gone. You were too slow. How could you keep going? How could you keep going? Ignore the pain. I told you it was to trick you. <laughs> Shut up, voices. Where are you going? To tell you. There's nothing to <laughs> Come on. Normally I would say don't follow the light, but in this case, there's nothing else to do, right? Before she first met him, she was not in a good place. Just a teenager, but not like the others. Barely functioning, she rarely left the house. Her father's in bell made sure of that. Only occasionally did she venture out on her own, collecting firewood and herbs, errands out in the Orkney Plains. That was her world. Oh dear. Like this one. Barren. And lonely. Aww. Sad. You'll get things to Okay, Dylan, stop running away. It's already disappeared. Nothing lives Hell here, yeah. not even you. It's in your mind. You think you can see it, but it's in your mind. Oh, he's over there. At the tree. There he was. The lone figure of a boy. Sword play under the shade of a tree. She remembers the first time she saw him. To her young eyes, he moved 
practice of dancing. And the world danced with him. He's there. He's there. The glue she lifted. For the first time in years, she felt a ray of hope. Day after day, watching from afar, she mimicked him, perfecting her own secret dance. Wishing those fleeting moments of light would stretch out to last forever. And here is the end of Sigmund's story. He was a fierce and great warrior who fought many battles. One day, an old man came onto the battlefield. Although shadowed by a hood, Sigmund saw that he only had one eye. The man raised his spear, and Sigmund struck at it with his sword, but the sword shattered into pieces. Odin? Sigmund then knew that this was Odin, yes. and thus that victory could not be his. He bowed his head and accepted his end. Dying, he tells his wife that she is with child, and that her son will one day make a great weapon out of the fragments of his sword. The sword named. Grom. Grom. Oh. That's actually a sword in the in a mythology that is able to kill a god. Are we going to get that sword? That would be interesting. Where is she going? What is she following? Oh, she's smiling! Oh my god! It's God, look at that! How does he so effortlessly court the world in bliss? If only she could do the same. See the world through eyes anew. And dance with it. Just like he does. I never saw her this happy. Oh, oh. Beautiful. Wow. I don't trust it actually. <laughs> it's all going to shit, right? Please be nice to her. Ah, look at her. Happy, happy girl. What's your name? Is, uh, is it when That's they met? Ah. Uh. I'm not. I don't leave home much. Oh, Zeno's daughter. I have to go. Wait. Who taught you to fight like that? No one. <laughs> no one. Well, I I watched you, and you uh. learned all of that from watching me. You should become a warrior, you know. Aww. Me? I'm Billy. I'm here for the warrior trials. Just come and watch. And bring your sword. You can't put it into words. That moment when you look into the eyes of the one who is supposed to reassure you. Aww. Make you feel safe. It only takes an instant. Whoa. Fear swallows you before you have a chance to make sense of it. And darkness becomes a part of who you are. You killed him. But her world changed the day the Northmen took him from her. So no one knows that there's no going back to how things were. That there's nothing to go back to at all. Stay still, stay quiet, hide, and don't tell Their gods can see into your mind. Oh, him again. They will use this power to destroy you. They won't stop me. I can still feel him. Whatever's left of him, they will never let him go. I'm not gonna let him rot here. You're the one rotting here. Leave me alone. You will die here. No. And all your suffering will have been for nothing. Shut up! 
Poor girl. We're gonna free you, Dillion. <sighs> the light by the tree. Whoa. Can you see him? You yes. won't believe it. Is he's he there? not real. Is he there? Oh. You're alone in these mountains. Is that Dillion? Nothing lives here. You so. won't survive. <laughs> you met him by the tree. She met him Death. by the tree. Maybe it's a sign, the tree. What's he trying to tell you? He's waiting for you by the tree. I don't know what this is. Whoa, what's that? Take, Take it. Sword. A sword. Ah, Take it. Cool. Did he have left it? King in the north forced the dwarves to make a sword that would King never fail north. and never rust, and that would slice through iron and stone and bring victory to its bearer. But the angry dwarves cursed it. It would be the death of a man every time it was drawn, and it would be the death of the king. Oh. Let me tell you about the sword. Tearving. Tell me. Tell me. I don't recognize this place. Where are we? Where is she? It feels Whoa. wrong. Where are we now? Burial mound. Whoa. It's so strange that we go to such lengths to bury death. Okay. Something so very ordinary. Inevitable. It's as if we conspire to hide death. Because we have no answer for it. But when it comes and it forces itself onto our friends or loved ones, then comes the reckoning. What is this? Wish me luck, peeps. 